Hey there everybody, okay this is what I got going on today. I'm processing the 4x5. I got uh, four sheets of uh, FP4 Plus in the little tap to slot some bubbles in the um, in the Stearman tank and it's working really well. But uh, while I was processing this, because it takes about a half an hour to process film, I give it 11 minutes on the uh, Ilford developer, which is uh, Ilford's version of D76, which is my preferred developer. And, um, you know, about a minute in the stop and then about 10 minutes in the fix. Um, I have to worry about the developer because that has to be uh, right. But let me show you what I was doing while I was uh, developing this film. So while I was messing with the uh, film, processing the film, I um, took my new Intrepid 4x5 enlarger head and controller out of the box. And it was acting kind of weird, but it seems to be working now. So we'll see how it goes. So um, these are the color knobs and uh, it's got a safe light built in the back. Um, these are the you got a bunch of modes and the one I'm interested in is the black and white mode So this would be grade 5 and that's a blue light and Then you can dial in your contrast grades right here, which is wonderful You know grade 0 is a green light And you got 0 0 which is a really green light and grade 2 it's kind of halfway between blue and green. I mean, if this thing works reliably, it you know, right out of the box, it was acting kind of weird. So I don't know what, you know, but right now it seems to be behaving itself and uh, we'll see what happens. So, but if this works, this would be great. So yeah, that's the Intrepid um, Enlarger back. This goes in the back of the camera and this is your controller. And I really, it's a, it's a cold light it's an LED cold light with a uh, multi-contrast grade ability. Um, that's a wonderful thing. So um, I think it was about 230 pounds, about 300 bucks. So I had bought the uh, Intrepid uh, Mark I of these. So they gave me a bit of a discount, which was kind of nice. Um, so yeah, um, and the Intrepid Mark I was okay, but then I got the Bessler... Um, beastie over here and um the i picked up a like a cold light from the 1950s and uh, it works really well and i put an led bulb in there and uh, that seems to work too but i um but it's a condenser and um i've got all kinds of cold lights and things for it but whatever it, it you know the condenser just works um, but for the multi-grade uh, paper, this would be a wonderful thing. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I got a Smith Victor copy stand, and I'm gonna try to hook that up with my Intrepid camera, and we'll see how this enlarger works. But that's what I'm doing today. I'm processing film, and I am playing with this Intrepid enlarging back for my Intrepid camera. Ver the Intrepid camera is an amazingly versatile camera. So yeah, over here, I got the um, film. I should set my timer. I got a gray lab mounted to the wall there. Um, for the film, I got my Stearman in the sink, dirty my dirty darkroom sink, which used to be a bathroom, but I converted it to a darkroom and it works just fine. It's just not very attractive. <laughs> and um, it, uh, I, I'm washing the film and I'll give that a 10 minute wash. And then I'll give it a little bit of the Photo Flow 200. And then uh, we'll hang her up to dry on my drying racks up here. So I got the Intrepid Enlarger set up. And uh, that's it there. This is where the negative goes. That's the negative carrier. It works really well for 4x5. I mean, you have to be really still and everything. I mean, you need to let it calm down and because it is kind of jiggly and rickety. It's not like the Bessler, which is, I don't know, the Bessler is pretty rickety too, actually. I mean, it's an enlarger. It is what it is. I got this on a Smith Victor copy stand 
And the Smith Victor is okay, but I had to modify it because uh, the bracket, which I am digging for here, where is it? This bracket, yeah, maybe you can see over here. This bracket that comes, it's plastic and it sticks up like this. And this, this is super wobbly. So I took a piece of Home Depot. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, terrible, real good quality. Anyway, you saw it before I put the camera out of the camera on it. I put a piece of Home Depot, um, you know, those samples for the flooring that they give you. I took one of those and um, modified it to make it, uh, well, uh, let me show you that. So I took a piece of that uh, Home Depot flooring sample here and I mounted a Arca Swiss quick release. These three holes here line up with this plastic piece of junk that's all wobbly. I was going to modify that, but it's a piece of junk. So, um, and then uh, it works on the bottom of the camera. I got a quick release on the bottom there. And so it quick releases to there and there it is. So yeah, I think it's going to work really well. It's going to be really great for 4x5 and uh, give me some multi-grade capacity, capability, without using those damn filters. So we'll see what happens. All right.